This is The Sin Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star of today's show is going to have to remain a secret for just another moment in time. So before I get to this unboxing of a product that I'm most excited about, let me go back in time a little bit. If you've been a longtime sim racer, then the word Thrustmaster has been synonymous with, thr with sim racing since the very beginning days. Many people, it dates back to the T1 racing wheel. This is a wheel that really was one of the first at allowing us to actually drive a sim like it was a simulator, a wheel pedals, shifters, things like that. They've been around since the very beginning of time and they've evolved with our industry to be one of the greatest product producers out there available, making some very good steering wheels, very good options on that medium level for sim racers. Now with that said, the Achilles heel of Thrustmaster forever has been their pedal set. They've used just standard feeling springs and measuring devices. No load cell, no hydraulics, nothing special. Basic pedals that almost are reminiscent of the beginning of the days of sim racing. With that, other companies have gone on to create load cell pedals, hydraulics, and everything else under the sun, but they do come at a price. Now for those who love Thrustmaster like I do, for those who've wanted Thrustmaster to be that much better a company, it was coming out with a decent lo load cell pedal. So in this box, we have the brand new, now available and much anticipated or waited for TLCM pedals, the Thrustmaster load cell and magnetic pedal set. So let's go ahead and take a first look what we have in the box. Now these are going to be coming up available fairly soon. They're going to go for $200 and they will be compatible with all your existing Thrustmaster devices. And this again is one of the things that has kind of made Thrustmaster a little behind the times as much as like the T500 even or the TX bases or TS bases I should say like a TSXW or the TGT or any of the TS based wheels these are great wheels but the pedals were just leaving something to be desired so it looks like what I have here I'm not sure if this is official packaging or just shipping packaging let's go ahead and get in we first have a brown box followed by another brown box Ah, there's the retail box. Okay, so this is going to be like a proper unboxing. And again, I, I, I can't downplay just how excited I am for this moment. Um, so long overdue. And, and when there's been a battle between Thrustmaster versus Logitech or versus Fnatic, um, one of the real things, uh, I know a lot of people who run Thrustmaster wheels but they run Fnatic pedals. And you know, that's always a little odd. Not odd, but you wanna be, you wanna have a whole kit. It also, oh, John Hill. Okay. We'll have to figure some kind of cut point there. All right, there we go. Here is the retail box all upside down. So, what do we got here? I do have certain details. Um, kits of six springs, including allowing a multitude of adjustments, up to 100 kilograms of pressure for the load cell. Soft, medium, hard, with or without pre-stressing. Um, all sorts of goodies to these pedals. So, all right. Oh, so exciting. Thrustmaster, now with the times, Thrustmaster. Now finally making it so that we can race with modern equipment and have an all Thrustmaster package, which again could be great if you have like a PS4 or an Xbox compatible wheel, you could now run that. Whoops, all right. So first things first, we have a drilling template. And then we have an instruction manual. And then look at this. Oh. Uh, 
All right. So what did we pull out here? We pulled out some wiring. We pulled out some, uh, looks like plates to maybe move the pedals, some washers, an Allen wrench, and two different spring options that look like they're for different types of pedals, perhaps. We have anything hidden over here? We do not. Dun, dun, dun! All right, all right, what do we have here? This is nice. Uh, first things first, these are pretty stout. As I was saying, these are pretty stout. A uh, good amount of heft to them. These are not lightweight at all. They feel pretty solid. It is a plastic casing, um, but it doesn't feel cheap in being plastic. It is this metal very thin plate on top of the plastic for a heel plate which should prevent scuffing you've got metal these are metal arms they feel like they're aluminum but they are metal for sure gas pedal good amount of spring stiffness to it adjustable pedal looks like it can go up down left and right a little bit let's come over to the start with the clutch we'll come to the brake last they use their hall effects uh, magnetic sensors so it's not a potentiometer reading the, the, the gas pedal. It's actually one of those heart, they call it. High precision accelerator and clutch with magnetic sensors technology. Hall effect accurate technology, heart. Up to 16-bit resolution, 65,000 values per pedal. So there you go. Um, really smooth. Um, this feels much more robust even on the gas pedal than their other pedals so it's not just a brake upgrade in other words is what i'm getting at this feels much better much more pro these are only 200 dollars, by the way clutch pedal single resistance i'm not really feeling much of a buildup. i'm not feeling a pressure point so it just feels like a springier version of the gas pedal from what i can tell now the brake. Let's get a load of this brake. All right. So we've got dual springs, top and bottom. Looks like we can put a heavier white spring down there. Looks like we can put a whole red combo in there. So we have some different options for tension. Now, what am I feeling? So you can see just by watching the movement of the springs, where are they compressing first? Seeing some real compression on the top part, middle part. And then it takes a little more pressure to make that bottom section close in. Is that how I'm seeing? So this is moving first, then this, then this. So it's almost three spring rates there. Uh, feels like a hard plastic down there. That's where the load cell is, right in here. Right there is the load cell. So we'll get you some close-up shots of that in action. Again, $199, $199.99, uh, compatible with all of their wheelbases, or at least the TMX, the T150, TX, T300, TSXW, TGT, TSPC. For our wiring. <coughs> So we've got one plug here that is going to be for Thrustmaster to thru Thrustmaster. So if you're running it with a Thrustmaster wheel base, boom, there you go. If you're running it PC direct, so you're going to use these as standalone pedals. Maybe you have a Logitech wheel and you want to upgrade your pedal set. Uh, 200 bucks is about the least expensive I can... I mean, this is pretty inexpensive for a load cell pedal set. Um, then you'd have this, which, where are our plugs on this thing? In the back. So here's our plugs here. This would go like so. And wire into the back. And then run that directly to your PC and you've got a load cell pedal set, $200. Thrustmaster users, you could do it like that or you can pull your other wheel set off your rig and then take this phone jack style 
and plug it into here. And then plug that into your wheel. And you'd have one, look like we've got a little power indicator light of some sort down there, maybe a mode light as well. We'll get more about that when we get down to installation. So I think what we're gonna do is bring this to a close. This was really here just to show off and gloat on Thrustmaster's behalf. I'm so proud of them. It sounds funny to say that like that. But again, this has been so long overdue to have a proper pedal set to round out what are some of my favorite wheels. I, I gotta tell you, like the TSXW is one of my all-time favorite wheels. Comes with that Sparco rim. Uh, it's a really good base. It's got that red covering. I love that wheelbase. Matching these with this base gives me that single plug into my computer, so I'm a USB saver. It gets it so that I could theoretically use it on an Xbox, um, and and even though I don't necessarily do that, but it, it's really something that they've needed. And again, for $200, these might be nice enough to be a great upgrade. I originally was gonna pl plug these into my XW, and do my testing. I think initially I'm going to stick with my wheel and plug these in on the USB and and test these as pedals alone because at 200 bucks this could be a great upgrade option for you guys out there. So anyway, uh, you can check them out at Thrustmaster's website, thrustmaster.com. They are the T LCM pedals, load cell and magnetic pedal set by Thrustmaster. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Now we're going to get right over there and get down to installation and see what they feel like out on track. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole and I'll see you on the track. Thank <laughs> you.